33 other states are allowing their citizens to take advantage of it, it is time for Tennessee. The state lawmaker who wants to legalize medical marijuana in Tennessee says her bill has a chance to become law. Republican State Senator Janice Bowling introduced that bill along with another Republican from Middle Tennessee. It would legalize all forms of medical marijuana across the state. The 29 page bill specifies how the product will be grown, who would qualify and how it would be taxed. We'd like to know what you think. You can see people are already weighing in. Do you think lawmakers in Tennessee would pass a bill that legalizes marijuana? You can vote right now at WBIR.com. And while you do vote, we turn to 10 News reporter Cole Sullivan. He has some answers to some of your questions. Cole? Robin and John, by all accounts, this bill is pretty comprehensive, but there are still questions about how it could impact patients if it were to become law. It's a long way from passing, but the sponsors are hopeful. It is time for us to do what 33 states have already done. We've got to give a choice to our citizens in their own treatments. The bill just introduced in Nashville would legalize medical marijuana across the state. This bill will take it from seed to production. My, my initial reaction was, that it was, it was a fairly comprehensive piece of legislation. Brian Crum is a professor at UT's law school. He reviewed the bill to answer some of the common questions that you've sent us. First up, does this bill allow users to grow their own plants? No, it does not. Uh, there will basically be uh, a process where uh, the growth and, and actual dispensing of, of marijuana are, are done by, by private organizations nor does it apply to just anyone. They've gone into a great deal of detail listing the types of situations where the card can be granted. Cancer, epilepsy, glaucoma, and opioid addiction are among the 20 conditions that qualify. There are ways that this can actually help people. But Crum says the bill doesn't protect patients from drug tests at work. You can't tell a corporation necessarily that they can't have a drug policy. And unlike other medications, medical weed would be taxed. There's going to be a 9% sales tax. Of course, this is just the bill in its initial form. The legislative road is a long one, and a lot can change before this makes it to the governor's desk. Governor Bill Lee has said before that he does not support medical marijuana. Robin and John. Cole, thank you very much. And of course, we asked you if you think lawmakers would pass the measure, and this is how you're voting, overwhelmingly 84% of you saying yes. Tennesseans who want to grow hemp in 2019 have 10 days to apply for a license. People must apply for an industrial hemp grower license by 4.30 in the afternoon on February 15th. Federal and state laws require hemp growers to be licensed through the Tennessee Department of Agriculture. It's already received more than 1,000 applications. Well, some East Tennessee school districts